Those officers are now on administrative leave. Investigators says this is all linked to the investigation of an armed robbery at the Horseshoe Casino. And WJZ is live tonight. Rachel Menentoff has been on the scene since shots were fired this morning. Rachel, I understand there are breaking details in this case. Yes, Rick, there are. Just moments ago, police released the name of the man who was killed here today. He's 24 year old John Feggins from Philadelphia. Just after 9.30 Wednesday morning, witnesses recall hearing the shots of gunfire. And over the police scanner. Shots fired! Shots fired! Hey, you want it? Where are they at? The right eight. Police Commissioner Michael Harrison says that officers here in the Northern District were investigating a car parked in the Rite Aid parking lot on York Road. They believed the car had been involved in an armed robbery at the Horseshoe Casino on October 9th. When they began interviewing the driver, they learned that he was also a person of interest in the robbery. The subject launched at the officer with the gun in his hand. There was a struggle that ensued, and that struggle took both of them to the ground where that struggle continued. A second officer then stepped in to help. In an attempt to prevent that subject from shooting himself, the police officers, and others in the area, what we know right now is that both of our officers discharged their firearm. Commissioner Harrison says he doesn't know how many shots the officers fired. At this point, ambulances were called to the area. We need a medic. The suspect was transported to the hospital where he died from his injuries. The two officers are now being treated for minor injuries. Police say they have recovered a gun they believed belonged to the suspect. But what we want to say right now is that the officers were out here doing their job. They were engaged, following up on a lead that was given to them. As you mentioned, the two officers have been placed on administrative leave. Commissioner Harrison says he's now in the process of reviewing body cam footage and also video provided to him from several witnesses as part of his own investigation. We're live tonight in North Baltimore. I'm Rachel Munitoff for WJZ.